100 reviews here. Yeah, I'm in a bathtub because I have a bad back and I'm taking a cold, cold bath to soothe my fucking pain. Hi there. So, today we're gonna do some research or we're gonna check out some tattoo artists that I love. And I'm just gonna show you some of the works and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. I love them so in the end I don't really care what you think about them. But it's nice to know another opinion, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. So I'm gonna go on my iPad because it's easier. So my phone fell over here. So yeah, just hang out. So the first one we're gonna look for it's probably gonna be yeah, let's start with my friend Mocho. Uh, dot 131 um, he's a crazy guy amazing tattoo artist uh, he does I like to call it abstract trash polka I suppose is the name uh, he does very interesting patterns and um, pretty much outside of my own style of art but yeah I love the Duke he's just as you can see like the texture and everything and composition is just amazing he does some figurative type surrealistic things like this a mouth centipede which dude go to therapy i love you we need help love you okay yeah that that thing is just it's just the beast it's crazy um i like this type of stuff I like monsters, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'm a smoker, as you can see. <coughs> yeah, I think some of his tattoos are inspired in a bit of um, biomechanical. I should ask him. Um, I don't know why I haven't yet. But yeah, it's patterns. Um, some of them, there's even one girl I know his, the client, the girl that he tattooed, he's doing the bodysuit, I don't know if he finished. Uh, I'm gonna, Macho, tell me if he finished the bodysuit. It's called, it's called, it's based on brutalism architecture. So it's like mm, industrial type architecture. Structures, very straight structure, very simplistic. Um, um, pieces of metal coming out and coming out and it's pretty interesting something similar to well not this but similar to this like a pattern almost uh, let me see if i can find her um, i think no this is not her hmm. let me say well, maybe this one I th yeah this is the one so even though it doesn't look like that i know because i talked with them both and it's based on that and i really think that's very interesting to to um, um, add details or structure or um, tattoo designs made based on architecture and not in a literal way not you know drawing a house in a little sun at the corner like right there make the sun hair shine um yeah nothing like that you know not like, like a kid's drawing or whatever not like um, other type of you know just a building straight so it's just like the shapes and as you can see like um, the cranes and all that stuff. It's it's really cool. I really think it's an interesting way of tattooing. So yeah, I would definitely advise for people that like this type of, you know, heavy black work, check them out. And if you like dark, creepy stuff, which I do a lot, um, you should definitely check them out. Like this mouthpiece on this guy's shoulder is just fucking crazy. Yeah, this type of stuff is brutal. Okay, next one we're gonna look for is uh, Marcelina, well, Marcelina Obranska. I don't know how to pronounce I'm sorry if I fuck up names a lot. I'm really bad with that, but yeah. I love her, she's a very, uh, very good person too as well. Uh, I know her personally. I was blessed by the gods to know her. And uh, she does uh, a lot of illustrative work, very figurative and the eyes that she does and the mouths and all that stuff is just just amazing I, I i i steal from her like literally i just take shit from her like this is mine now bitch mine yeah i just love her work it's um i think she's one of the best artists in general not just tattooing 
She's just very, 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 very good. Uh, I got a piece by her. Uh, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna add it on here. I'm gonna look it up actually, see if I can find it. I uh, got my hand done by her. Here it is. And it was a blast to get to talk to her and know her better and see that she's pretty much uh, as uh, dumb as me and uh, as funny as me. Well, not that much because I'm funnier. Sarah Marcy, you know it. But yeah, she's an amazing person too, amazing tattoo artist. Uh, I love her work. Uh, you should definitely check this out. I'm gonna get another piece by her. I don't know when I'm gonna go back. I think it's gonna be uh, probably uh, September, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out again. Uh, this next person is uh, Valerie Vargas. So Valerie more than, more, more, oh, oh. <laughs> the cold water just uh, got to my brain. <clears throat> Valerie Vargas. That's how we would say her name in Spanish. I, I know Spanish, so I know. Um, uh, Valerie Modern Classic on her um, tattoo Instagram -y thingy. Again, she's uh, pretty much illustrative, uh, more based on traditional, much more than Martin Obranska. Uh, very much more. Um, but as you can see, just solid, solid work. There's no flaw in her tattooing it's almost annoying um yeah this is just one of those people that if you're a tattoo artist you have to know and you have to add her on your following because you're gonna want to kill yourself after seeing her tattoos so please do follow her you know, it's just amazing work like look at this look at this come on come on Teach me. Yeah, I mean, there's one piece, this one, I found it. Look how crazy this is. Looks like the ceiling of a fucking church in Romania, like Orthodox church. Like, even the gray washes that she does, like, almost. <coughs> oh my God. Like Chicano type tattoos that she does, they're just, They're just so good, just so soft and so, have so much personality, it's just amazing. There's one tattoo, like again, another Chicano style tattoo. I mean, you can see that, of course, she got this, because she's been tattooing for a long time now. A long time, I mean, I think, I think more than 10 years, something like that. Um, you can see that she learned from looking at other Chicano tattoo artists, like Jack Rudy and all the greats, like Freddy, Negretti and all those. She has one traditional tattoo, and of course you can see that she she really got her female faces from um, Chris Khan, which I'm gonna add after this one. I'm gonna show after this one. I mean, everyone that does this type of you know pinup style kind of tattoo or design, we all know where you got it from. Even though if you don't know, uh, we all got it from Chris Khan and Sacred City, I think is his name. I'm gonna look it up right now. Secret City? Se secret? Secret? Oh, what is it? That fucking name? Secret? No. Well, I know Marcy has him as the. Whoops, sorry about that. There you go. Oh, it's with the K. So, <clears throat> this is like, oh, that's, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just rub one out after this bath. Look at that. It's so good. Yeah, so everyone, even though if you don't know this, we, we all took, everyone stole from this guy. Like, he's just one of those greats. I mean, he's been tattooing for a fucking long time. I think it's like 30 years. Yeah, I'm really huge fan of this dude. <clears throat> yeah, that. So I have Sacred City. He doesn't have a lot of things posted on, but uh, the little that he has is just out of this world. Next one is gonna be Emily Rose Murray. She's Australian, I think. Yes, Melbourne, Australia. And she does more neo-traditional, illustrative, uh, almost Art Nouveau type stuff. And her tattoos are just 
sublime, like so nicely made and so well put in com the composition composition itself is just and her drawings are like, come on, dude, marry me, please, I will be your slave. That's just I I, I, I love her work. Oh, yeah. And again, all these people that I'm talking about, I steal shit from them. Like always, every every person that I'm gonna show you on this video, I take something from all of them. I, I, I these are all people that inspire me very much. Um, especially the one probably that I steal the most from is Marcy Marcelina Obranska. She's just so I don't know her simplicity in the work and just she could do so much with so little. It's just, I don't know, I, I, I love that. And look at this. That's just lovely. Like, look at those details. So well made. Everything is perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna hate this type of people. Well, not no. Yeah, fuck it, I hate them. <sighs> look at that. Even the drawings, they're amazing. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Uh, next one, let's see. Well, of course, the grind. Uh, let's, let's see if I can learn how to write. Uh, the grime is. Uh, the grime is one of my favorite. Uh, fuck me, look at this. Even trippy. Yeah, it's just. the man. I love this dude. Like, his work is just out of this world. Um, He's been tattooing for a long time. I definitely would advise you people to check all of these people out. And some of them, like Grime and uh, Valerie Vargas, they have um, a small documentary made on Vice. It's on YouTube, you can check it out. Um, if you go on YouTube, just type in YouTube, uh, Vice, uh, Tattoo Age, and then their name. And it's like, 30 minutes each, it's videos of 10 minutes split in three, and they're very interesting. Uh, on, as you can see on Grimes' page, he does, I mean, he posts tattoos. Look at this. And he's fast like hell. A friend of mine, which I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna show after Grime, um, he got tattooed by him. The, the, actually, the first one that I put, I think that's his. I think this was on, this was on him. He got tattooed by him, and he said, he he was the fastest tattoo artist that my friend got tattooed by ever. Like, it was just insane. It was freehand, of course, because he's a beast and he's been tattooing for a long, long time. I mean, phew, come on. And he's the papa of uh, Black Claw. I mean, what more can you ask from, from a fucking human being? And yeah, as you can see, he's a very big Moto fan. <laughs> I think the cold water is getting to me. And his work is pretty much um, based on traditional, uh, biomech, uh, even new schoolish a bit, neo traditional type stuff. It's very weird. Again, definitely go check out uh, Grime, especially Grime for me. Grime and uh, I, I would check all of them out. Like, just put on YouTube Tattoo Age and just look at all of that stuff because it's just amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this, this one. I know I know this by heart because I, I looked at it so much. And if you don't see, it says underneath here somewhere, let's see, three hours total, like one hour and a half, one hour and a half, one hour and 30 minutes, and one hour and 30 fucking minutes for two huge tattoos. Yeah, he's, he's just amazing. Oh, puppy. Now, next one, we're gonna look at, come on, Inyaki Works. Uh, I don't know if, I, I, I need to learn how to write. So this is a friend of mine too, he's just a crazy person. This is the guy that got tattooed by Grime. <clears throat> I mean, look at this, it's just heavy black, very interesting shapes and very interesting designs. Even you can even say that this might look like, almost like, not, doesn't look at all like it, but it kind of reminds me of Zukowski, a Polish artist, sculptor, painter, amazing 
amazing stuff he did. And this one kind of looks like the pre-Columbine, pre-Columbine, <laughs> pre no, the pre-Columbino, I don't know how to say it in English, I'm really sorry, I speak three lang four languages and I'm pretty shit at all of them, so shut the fuck up. Yeah, uh, pre-Columbine, I think it's the name, ah, I'm sorry, pre-Columbian, pre-Spanish um, uh, art, uh, art and sculpture, and it's just amazing work, he's like the masks and all that type of, type of stuff, just amazing. And look at this. Just pre pretty, very pretty. Yeah. Claw me, claw me. Okay. Yeah. So, check this guy out for sure. If he's, uh, I'm not gonna say everyone's uh, location. Just check them out. Just do the do the effort. Just check people out and look where they work at. If you want to get tattooed by them, they're just good people and amazing artists. So, yeah, <clears throat> I love this guy. I mean, look at this project. It's a one or two. So if you want to get this tattooed, hit him up. Look at this. It's just amazing stuff. Um, next one we're going to put. <clears throat> I love this guy. I just met him like a few weeks ago. Mishla. Uh, yeah, I love I love Mishla's work. I mean, pff, just amazing style. Oh, I mean, you can see some similarities in the construction. But there's, there's no correlation between him and Yaki. Uh, they just have some bit of techniques similar similarities but as you can see there's no nothing else there and yeah Michelle is just an amazing even an amazing person I met him really sweet guy and what he does is just out of this fucking world um, like, I want to get tattooed by him so badly and we already talked about my project so I'm not gonna get into that that's another subject for another day but yeah I mean why wouldn't you get that? I mean, look at it. It's just so pretty. So fucking pretty. Tattoo my face. Ah, oh, fuck. That was stupid. Tattoo my face. Yeah, he's in London. Um, he's just really good. I mean, come on. Mishla, if you're gonna watch this, fucking hate you. <clears throat> okay, stop drooling at this. And now, next person, we did Mishla. Who was next? Uh, we're gonna do someone. Oh, uh, Acetates. He's a. Uh, he's in New York, I think. This Japanese traditional work. Out of all the Japanese traditional. Out of all the Japanese tattooers, Japanese. Japanese style tattooers, uh, especially traditional. Even though he's not traditional, traditional, because some of his design like this, it's, it's not. I mean, the technique probably is traditional and style, but he does. I like to call it neo Japanese, and look at this. It's a bit of um, Tom from fin Tom Finland and uh, Japanese work. Just amazing, amazing tattooing, and I've seen uh, like a few of his tattoos healed. Cool. And I see some of them healed and they're fucking perfect, like solid, solid work. Just amazing, amazing work. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in New York, what a... I think it's New York, isn't it? I think so. Uh, I think, it, yeah, New York City. Uh, just go check him out and get tattooed by him. Yeah, I mean, come on, look at this. It's just, oh. So I would definitely get tattooed by all of these people, for sure. Without a doubt, I just have not that much space left. Because I was a genius and tattooed myself a lot. Because I was learning, that was a really bad idea. Next person, we're gonna put Claudia de Salve. I mean, this woman, uh, she's just, she works with Mishla and her husband, Itaro. The work with, I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter who you're with, just she does amazing, amazing work. I just love, again, this is more Japanese inspired, but I wouldn't call it Japanese traditional. If I'm wrong, I'm really sorry if I've offended anyone. In the end, I don't really give a fuck. It's what I think. If it's ignorance, I'm an idiot. If I'm wrong, I'm just wrong. Don't get pissed off. 
you know, I'm not doing anything, I'm not saying anything bad to anyone. Yeah, her flowers, like her peonies and her girl, girl faces are just, look at this. Come on, how can you be just amazing work? Yeah, yeah. everything is just solid like hell. I mean, really? Yeah, so, yeah. So I think we're gonna end it here. There are so, so, so many that really inspire me and I really love their work. <coughs> that was rough. But uh, we don't have the time to do that. I think it would take like hours, maybe even more. And there's so many of them that I don't know their names because I forget them. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm really bad. Don't judge me. I will kill myself. I will if you judge me. No, I'm kidding. I won't. Um, yeah, there's just too many. Like nowadays, uh, there's this. I'm gonna show the last one. Um, this guy. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know how to write. So this guy, he's uh, from Spain. He's an amazing tattoo artist. Like his drawings are just so crazy and just so detailed and so well done and i'm not 100 percent sure but I, it looks like he's been tattooing for a while like for i mean that's a free hand come on man and you can see the the technique and everything is just that gray wash with the dots and the color is just a just amazing work i think he's been tattooing for a while now you know what I'm saying? like he's not that well known and Besides that fact, his name's Elkan. I'm not gonna remember that shit. Sorry, dude, if you're gonna see this, I'm really sorry. Amazing work, I love your shit. But, that was a hair in my mouth. But just, I'm, I'm really bad with names. And besides that, there are too many fucking tattoo artists nowadays. It's just more than human beings. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, so yeah, oh, Neko Por Vida, here you go, yeah. Another one, there's just so fucking many people and if you want more of this type of stuff, leave a comment. And yeah, you know, all the rest of the stuff you have to do will help me uh, make more of these and help me pay for shit, like food and the water that I'm using right now to heal my back pain and uh, show you my nipple. And uh, you know, pay my rent and all that shit. So hit like, subscribe, motherfuckers. Thank you and come again, you know. Not how much is it's okay.